So we're just going to find a bit of a groove that'll be good for that one. Might grab one of the logic grooves. And we'll just chuck that one on there to see what that one sounds like. So as you can see, it's actually adding quite a nice little feel to that one. If we bring the timing down to that zero on that one, and bring the random down and the velocity so you can hear what it sounds like without the groove. And if we grab hold another one of those and just chuck that on there. And we might finally just have a look at one of our MPC grooves and see what that can do for us. As you can see, the velocity being increased on that first note and all of the other notes dying off a little bit there. So as you can see there is a fair few different options as far as different grooves that you can use and different ways that you can use them. So I'd recommend going through the library and checking out all of the different ones available in there and seeing what you can come up with. What we're going to do now is we'll just get a bit of a clip with a groove and We'll show you how to extract the groove from it so that it can be then used on another clip. So we're just going to go for the good old Amen break. This one's got quite a good groove on it. You'll notice during the, the middle of the loop here, the notes are actually being played a little bit late compared to where they would be if they were on time. If we wanted to quantize that using a groove, that's actually a pretty easy thing to do. We can just go back into our library, go into our quantize grooves, choose the timing that we're after, and we can just drag that one straight on. And you'll find that you get exactly the same effect doing that as if you get live to quantize it using one of the other methods. So that one can be quite handy. However, we want to make use of the groove that we've got in this clip. So first thing we're going to need is We'll grab another audio channel and we'll find another loop that we can apply this new groove to. So, we might see if we've got something maybe a little bit percussive. Something a little bit weird, but let's see what we can do with that. might just transpose that down a little bit. Probably not going to sit too well with our Amen break, but you never know. So, to get the groove from the Amen break, it's a simple matter of right-clicking on the clip and going to Extract Grooves, as we can see there. Live will now extract that one and chuck that one over into a groove pool for us. As you can see there, and we can just grab hold of that one and drag it straight onto our little percussive clip there. So if we have a listen to just our percussion now, Doesn't sound too different, but we're just going to play both of those side by side and we'll see how well the timing of them both fits together. Mm -hmm. 
as you can see they're both now sitting very very tightly together which is something that we wouldn't normally be getting for example if we take that groove off by turning the timing all the way down we'll have a listen to both of those again and have a listen for the drip percussion loop coming out of time with the amen loop and see if you can hear it in there As you can hear, straight away it's starting to sound very messy. So again, we'll turn the timing all the way up to 100% and have another listen and see if you can hear how the timings now come back in together. We can even add some of the velocity from our Amen clip into there if we like. So I hope that gives you a bit of an idea of how to deal with grooves in live. So like, as I said earlier, I'd recommend having a play with some of the ones that are available in the groove library. I'd also recommend having a play with maybe some recorded audio that you've got, if you've recorded any drum loops or anything like that. Chances are if they've been played by a human drummer, then they're going to have a bit of a groove in them, so you might find that that could be usable and might even be useful for something completely different from the drum loop that you got it from. So try this sort of thing out on everything from leads to rhythms to percussion to drums. You'll find even applying a different groove to your drums and percussion as you do to your rhythm and your lead can give you quite an interesting feel. Or even applying the same groove to your drums and your bass to help them sit together can be quite an interesting effect. So throw your sample library at live, throw all of the grooves that you can come across at live and see what sort of cool stuff you can come up with. Hope to see you again in another Ben Ross's Conservatorium of Audio tutorial. Thanks for watching.